Hey everybody, we're taking a look at Isle of Sky today. This is a tile laying game. It is brought to us by Digidiced by way of Asmodee Digital. So they are now being published by Asmodee Digital. And it's a, a game that I've been interested in checking out for a while. I'm glad that I had a chance to check it out in this digital version. So let's take a look at Isle of Sky. This game, a lot, a lot of Digidiced games can be described pretty simply Okay, maybe not all of them. I forgot about Terra Mystica. But <laughs> like uh, many games, this just has pretty easy steps. First, you have three tiles and you choose one to get rid of and two to sell. Then you can buy up to one tile from other players and they can buy tiles from you. And then you play the tiles you have left and you'll score points via score uh, tiles as you proceed through the game. So you're completing features kind of like Carcassonne but with different rules in terms of scoring. You don't always score immediately or uh, earn income immediately, but rather you earn it through these scoring tiles at the end of each round. And then at the end of the game, the player with the most points, counting game ending points, uh, is the winner. It is a pretty cursory explanation, but this game, in terms of mechanics, is actually relatively simple um, and things kind of react to you as you play. This game features uh, all of the great avatars that you've collected over your illustrious digitized career. Um, on top of that, there is online play that is now tying into Asmodee's service. And so you can connect with all of those uh, other uh, games that you've been playing and your friends there, which I guess I don't have any on this account. I need to start adding people. Um, uh, but yeah, there's uh, online play, ranked or casual, and just a lot of options uh, that you're used to with these digitized offerings. If you've enjoyed other games from Digidiced, I think you're going to like Isle of Sky. It's got a great tutorial, a little more jokey maybe than is necessary, but pretty funny and uh, re really well thought out and walks you step by step through this game. Uh, once you're in, the, the gameplay becomes pretty clear as you play a, a bit. And it's one of those games that kind of makes you always want to do more the next time around. That itch to expand your kingdom or try to complete more features the next time around. There's a lot of... Uh, motivation there to keep trying. There have been reports of bugs and I've mostly played in the single player. I didn't seem to experience anything. There may be things I was missing but overall it seems like a pretty great offering from Digidiced and a nice interpretation of this game uh, which has received some pretty high praise and so if you haven't had a chance to check out Isle of Sky on the tabletop this is a great way to give it a chance. So be sure to check it out today.